We are going to learn to do a yoga vinyasa. Vinyasa simply means breath and movement, and you'll be asked in any yoga class you ever take to do one. So here, you'll learn how to do it safely. So we're going to talk about how to flow from downward facing dog into chaturanga. As a teacher, I see lots of shoulder injuries, and it's mostly from this transition. Let me just give you a hint. You only want to go halfway down. If you go any lower than this, then you're setting yourself up for damage in your shoulder joint. So here's the secret. Are you ready? You'll begin in downward facing dog. And when you come into plank, have the feeling that you're trying to touch the other side of the room. So notice I leaned forward. Only in that way can you keep your elbow right underneath of your shoulder. Once you've brought yourself into that 90 degree angle, then press yourself up for upward facing dog. So the other place I see a lot of injuries is from the transition from chaturanga to upward facing dog. Again, you do not want to go any lower than a 90 degree angle with your arm. If you scoop all the way through, which I see a lot, that puts a lot of pressure right here on the front of your humerus. So instead, after you come halfway down, flip your feet, roll your shoulders back, and then make sure that your wrists are right underneath your shoulders. Make sure also that your hips stay off the ground. The only thing touching the ground right now is your hands and the tops of your feet. Any more than that, as if you had your toes curled under, too much pressure in your lower spine. Hips on the floor, arms straight, too much pressure on the lower spine. And you'll find it's even hard to hold yourself up with. So make sure your position is correct. So when it comes to putting the poses together, think breath and motion. Begin in downward facing dog and inhale forward. Exhale chaturanga, inhale upward facing dog, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Feels fantastic and keeps the body warm.